Hey Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what spirit would like you to know. Now for those of you that are interested, I have a sale on my personal readings at the moment and I'll put my website in the description and you can check it out if you want to. But let's begin today's reading. Messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. What does Virgo need to know? This is your February reading. Okay, in your recent past, we've got the King of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Let's get a couple more. The Nine of Pentacles. The King of Swords. One more. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Wow, I see you really stepping into your independence here. You're realising there's a lot of options available to you. There could have been something that you thought there was only one way to go about it. And actually, you're realising recently that it doesn't have to be like that. You can look at other options. You can look at different ways to make things work. You are the creator of your destiny. You make whatever it is you want out of your life. Now, I feel like you're becoming very comfortable here in your own company, realizing that you are enough for yourself. You don't need to rely on others. You know, you really can do whatever it is that you need by yourself. And I feel like this is quite a spiritual journey that you're experiencing at the moment. Now, I feel like you could have been very honest, very to the point with somebody, and it may have come across as quite cold. This person here that I feel you were communicating with, it may have caught them by surprise. They may have not seen this come in. But I feel like you just said something. You didn't want to sugarcoat it. You didn't want to beat around the bush. You just said something exactly how it was. So yeah, a very upfront energy. I feel like you're just very sure about who you are and what you want. And let's clarify. Okay, we've got woman. Dealings or a relationship with a woman. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assure success success again okay they're pretty flying out we've got younger woman so we've had woman twice dealing to a relationship with a younger woman and dragon beware of self-delusion okay so this there's somebody showing up here a woman in your life could be younger that is very significant here now beware of self-delusion so i feel like this is spirit saying you know tap into your intuition I know as a Virgo, you can be very logical. However, the mind can definitely play tricks on you. So really try to tune into what you feel. And yeah, I feel like spirit is giving you signs. There's definitely some type of success that will be here and it's tied up to your peace. There could be something that you've been dealing with recently that has took a lot of strength. It hasn't been easy. Now there is a new beginning here that I can see. I feel like you've learned a lot about yourself. You're understanding who you are. There's some type of experience here that you've been through and it's left you a lot wiser. Yeah, there is some type of new start coming up for you. So yeah, let's dive a little bit deeper and look at what's going on with you at the moment. Current energy for Virgo. We've got the five of wands. Page of Wands, Temperance, oh this one can find out the Fool, and the Hermit, okay so this is very interesting, I feel like a lot of emotions right now are running high, you're trying to keep grounded, you're trying to stay in the moment, not worry too much about the past, think too much about the future, you're trying to stay in the present moment and I feel like that is very important. Now there could be people around you giving you their opinions. With the five of wands this is just like a lot of people giving you their view on something and you may feel like you need to defend yourself, you need to stick up for what you believe in. There's definitely something here that you feel very strongly about, you're passionate about this. 
you could just feel like your emotions are very overwhelming at the moment. There's this need to kind of just take a step back, to go into hermit mode, separate yourself from the outside world. You know, it's hard to really be in touch with how you're feeling when you have a lot of outside energy affecting that. So I feel like right now you're going through this healing phase. You want to be by yourself. You want to just try to understand how you feel and what you truly want. Yeah, it's very interesting. I feel like this is, there is some type of change here happening. Bird perched, waiting for news, package or a letter. Bell, announcement. Marriage. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Yeah, I did feel this. I felt... I felt with the temperance and the hermit tied up to each other that there's some type of emotion that you're experiencing. And I feel like that's why you're trying to just keep in this moment. Because there could be something that you're thinking of, whether that's in the past or some type of fear of the future that could be weighing heavily on you. There's an announcement coming though. And I feel like you're waiting for this news. There's something you're waiting for here. There is a marriage showing up, so... This doesn't have to just be in love. This could be, you know, a commitment. When we see marriage, it's to me, it shows commitment. So there's something that you're really committed to here. I feel like you're on this deep journey at the moment and it's going to be difficult. It is. There's going to be moments where things just feel very overwhelming. It's completely normal. If there's anything you've been burying inside or just not really wanting to deal with, and then you actually start to just look, look at everything for what it is and you give yourself that time to breathe, to be by yourself, those emotions are going to come up to the surface. So I feel like spirit wants you to know that if there's some type of news or something that you're waiting on here, something you're trying to understand, a truth that you're seeking, just know that you are going to get that very soon. Just a key message here that's coming out is that you need to do what's right for you. You can't listen to other people. So bear that in mind. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Okay, so there could be somebody in your life here that, that you can't depend on. Someone that you feel has let you down. The feather, to me, that's a sign from spirit that is you needing to really follow your gut right now. That is the most important thing. There's some type of change that is coming towards you and it is going to benefit your life. Let's clarify. Career. Lion, time to take action. Okay, so this may be a time for you to really dive into something with your career, something that you may want to achieve. If there's a passion that you have that you feel you've kind of lost touch with or you're not giving it your all, really get into that because I feel there is some type of success here that is meant for you. There's a path that you are meant to take. It is for you and it doesn't matter how many different ways you go about it. If something is destined for you, I feel like it will find its way into your life. Let's have a look what's coming up for you in the rest of February. What is coming up for Virgo? Okay, we've got the two of wands. We need to make a decision. I feel like you're trying to understand something right now. The chariot. King of Pentacles, the Sun, the Death card, the Empress. Wow, you've got four major arcanas here coming up in your future. So I feel like you are closing off from something. You're moving forward. There's a big change that is coming into your life and it all depends on which path you're going to take. But regardless of which way you go, something is going to end here. There is a new beginning coming. 
there really is. And you're moving forward. There's no time to be looking back on the past, to be going over how things could have been different or, you know, I feel like with the chariot, this is you focused on what is going on right now and where you want to be. You don't want to keep looking back. This is tied up to your happiness though. So whatever this is that is closing off in your life, it is going to bring you a lot of happiness. It is. And I feel like it is not going to be an easy decision. But you have to take care of yourself. The Empress is a nurturing energy. And I feel like this is you nurturing yourself, doing what's right for you. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Lobster, financial pinch. Basket, recognition and reward for merit. Okay, if there's something you've been working on and you feel you haven't really got the credit for it or something that you've been doing and you just feel like you weren't appreciated, in the future here, you're going to get that recognition. Someone is going to be showing you that they appreciate that. They're grateful for what you're doing. And I feel like people are going to see that you've put a lot of hard work into something. Now, it's very important here that you do not lower your standards. There's something coming out here that you may have this fear or worry in the future that somebody is against you. Now, I feel spirit wants to let you know that it doesn't matter, you know, what energy people are throwing at you. You are protected. You are. As long as you do what's right for you, you follow your passion Try not to give too much thought into those types of things. It's difficult because I feel anxiety, it is a hard one. You need to follow your gut though. If you feel like something is off with somebody in your life, believe it, it usually is. This could be a time for you to really focus on your finances, getting everything in order. There's changes coming in your life. got April I feel like by April you're going to see this big change you're going to notice that your life isn't going to look the way it does now broken wishbone a wish will not be granted I feel like sometimes you may be wanting one thing and the universe spirit knows that that's not actually what's going to help you that's not what's going to help you grow that's not what's going to truly bring you this happiness so just because a wish is not being granted here does not mean at all that you're not going to be happy. This could be one wish not being granted and you actually leading, going down a path that is much better suited for you, something that is going to bring you a fresh perspective, a big change in your life. Yeah, I just get this energy here. There could be something you're wanting when there's something else out there better suited. We've got Rose, romance in the air. Okay, so somebody could be coming forward here telling you how they feel. Yeah, someone's definitely got their eye on you. And I feel like they're going to be communicating that in February at some point. Period of prosperity and abundance. mountain major challenge to overcome okay so yeah there is success coming towards you your finances are going to be building i feel like it's just not going to be easy whatever this is that you're working on you need to remind yourself why you're doing this what your vision is what you want in your life and that is going to get you to where you want to be but at times you are going to feel overwhelmed you're going to feel like you know, is it worth it? Is this actually going to turn out the way I'd hoped? Just remind yourself that everything that you're experiencing is leading you to where you need to be. Just really try to tap into that faith as difficult as it can be. Tune into that and feel, even when you get something go wrong or something doesn't work out the way you'd want it to, try to remind yourself that there's a bigger reason and that you can overcome it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading Virgo. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.